we are, Eric Matt, twoguysdrink.com. We're going to be reviewing the recent Stone collaboration that we had videotaped and had uh, documented. Had our intensive interviews with the three brewers and uh, Matt, Sean, and Mitch, which you can check out, twoguysdrink.com. Yeah, hopefully you got to uh, see Mitch's and get a l to know a little bit more about him. I mean, we hear a lot about Matt and Sean, but we don't always hear too much about Mitch because he's just one of those guys who's kind of behind the scenes. So, so we have the collaboration brew. This is nine point five percent alcohol. This is a it's a American strong black ale. It's brewed with fennel seed, chia, pink peppercorns, and mission figs. Very interesting beer. The wort we tasted that night was totally awesome. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and open this little guy up and uh, give it a little taste. Let you know what we think. It's got a little bit of carbonation on it. Yeah. Yeah. Here's Very good. Ooh, Very good. Oh big. yes. I like that. It's got some nice head on there. Bubbles are tight. It's kind of like a nice tan, light. Light brown, almost like crust of a bread finish there. Yeah, it's super what, thick. What are you getting off this, Eric? You can't even see through it. It's it's as a jet black. Or it's not black. It's got a really dark brown hue to it. You're getting some good... Uh... <laughs> What'd you get in the nose there? <laughs> a lot of beer. <laughs> well, you got some beer in the nose. I got... I'm getting a little bit of roasted barley. It smells like anchovies when you stick them you know? actually up your nose. So, Matt, I'm really picking up a lot of that roasted barley they they brewed this with. It's really pronounced. Yeah, you are. I'm not getting I'm not getting a lot of hop scent on here, but you can taste the bitterness. You can get some of the hop taste on there. Um, definitely some residual Mission Fig. Um, I'm not catching it just right now, but when I had this the other day, I did catch just a slight peppercorn taste, and that was probably about a good 10 seconds after I took a sip. And uh, yeah, the seed packet they used, the the various the fennel, the chia, they have a couple different. Um, you know, if you get to check out the bottle, it explains a little more, but it adds a nice component to the beer. It's really interesting. Yeah, and I excuse me, I didn't even know that chia seeds were actually consumable. I just thought it was something that I like to use for Halloween. Um. <laughs> well, and what did you use them for Halloween? Uh, well, as part of my costume. Uh, so. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and not ask and follow up with that. Okay, yeah, let's talk about that later. This has got a great mouthfeel, though. It's, it's nice and smooth. I could probably drink, I don't know, as many of these as I have lying around and would, would feel yeah. pretty good about it. Mm -hmm. But it's, at nine and a half percent, the alcohol content's really light. It's not hot at all. Yeah, it, and it doesn't taste like this is this big of a beer. No, it's a nice, smooth thing, and we've got, you know, again, just look at the beer. It's dark. We've got some some nice carbonation on it, and uh, it's just it's. Don't be afraid of the dark, right? <laughs> oh. Yeah. So I'm getting a lot of roasted barley on this. Yeah? Well, would you buy this in a bar? A roasted barley bar? No, no, the beer. Oh, yeah, no, I would totally buy this in a bar. As long as it came in an appropriate serving size, like at least a 12 ounce. Yeah. I'm well, sure this, this, is, this is nice, but I'd like to see, I would have loved to have seen this in a 750. Yeah, or a definitely. 22. A 22 at least. 22 would be good. But... I'm 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 definitely picking up uh, some of the mission fig. There's a yeah the figs and, uh, got a nice showing. It's pretty good. This is a big beer. It's got a very light mouth feel, very drinkable, deceptively so. Um, this isn't quite like a worldwide stout that 18 percent and it's but still but it it's yeah. very drinkable for nine and a half for the for a lot of people that aren't accustomed to drinking really big double digit beers. This is going to be either a good gateway or a big problem because it's very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> we'll hope that it's a good gateway. I, I think it's a good gateway, a good segue beer. And like I said, it, it just drinks nice. It doesn't, you don't get all that alcohol. The alcohol's mellow. There's right. not too much hot bitterness. There's a good showing of all the fennel, the chia, the peppercorn, the fig. Very interesting. Um, Bottom line, this is a very drinkable yeah, beer. It's tasty stuff. I think the guys did a good job. 
Uh, Matt, Sean, Mitch. Cheers. Cheers to you guys. From Eric and Matt. To guysdrink.com. Where's my bitches? Does my nose look shitty? <laughs> no more than normal. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's not like that. Whose ass have you been kissing? <laughs> <laughs>